Well, what are they? That's for me to know, and for you to find out. How do you expect me to assign you tasks if I don't know what you're good at? Then you should get started finding out. <laughs> right, well, I have neither the time nor the inclination to do so, so you'll just have to sit the game out. You keep making these decisions, but no one appointed you leader. I'm the most logical member of our team, so it's only natural- As if. There's nothing natural about it. A leader requires people skills, which you obviously lack. Do you want to be leader? Because that timid wolf certainly isn't going to do it. No. I didn't think so. But I say we let Miss Archer lead. What use is a leader who- All in favor? I'm not opposed. I guess I don't have a problem with it. You've been outvoted <laughs> again. You may want to work on those people skills of yours, mommy. Fine. I'm not going to argue about this. Well, leader, how should we proceed? Do we know anything about this door we need to find? It's hidden and has a special lock. That's it? Pretty much. Then I guess we should split up and look for- Actually, we need to choose our team first. Right. Okay. I guess I'll pick... Mr. Bandages and Mr. Wolf. <laughs> Naturally. Well, uh, if you're sure. Guess I'm sitting this one out. See you guys later. <laughs> the Count got up and knocked on the door. It opened to reveal the waiter from earlier. Was he standing out there the entire time? I'm sitting this one out. Miss Archer is the leader, so I guess you can give that to her. He gestured to the envelope in the waiter's hand. The waiter nodded, handed me the envelope, and then led the Count out of the room. I was wondering when the second clue would arrive. You knew there would be another clue? With Eric, there's always another clue. So, what does it say? I opened the letter and scanned it before reading it aloud. A key that must be held, a key that must be played, and a third that must be solved to continue the masquerade. Oh boy. That's the clue, but there's this part that says we don't need to leave this room to find the first key. I guess we should start looking. I doubt we're looking for a normal key, so keep an eye out for anything unusual. We set out examining the contents of the room, but there was one thing I couldn't help but wonder. Where are we supposed to use this key? Let's just focus on finding it first. A loud banging noise had my head whipping around, but I couldn't see the cause. Ah, uh, guys, I think I found it. Mr. Wolf was balanced on a chair with his hand reaching awkwardly above one of the shelves. He pulled his hand back a bit, visibly wincing with the effort, and the wall behind us slid open. But the moment he let go, the wall slammed back down, repeating the noise from earlier. It's in a pretty awkward position and needs to be held in place to keep the door open. This seems really dangerous. Get down from there and let me uh, sorry. do it. Mr. Bandages and Mr. Wolf swapped positions, and Mr. Bandages attempted to use the key before letting go. How long do you think you can keep it open? Long enough for the two of you to get through. I won't be able to follow, though, so you better not screw this up. Good to see you have so much faith in us. Come on, Mr. Wolf. I grabbed his hand and pulled him over to the hidden door before giving Mr. Bandages the go-ahead to open it. The moment it was high enough, we darted through, not wanting to risk the door falling on us. A hallway. I don't see anything to be played here. Guess it's closer to the other end. Mr. Bandages, we're going to explore this hallway. Fine. If you need to get back, just knock. I'm not staying in this position if I don't have to. Having said that, he let the door slam shut. Mr. Wolf and I walked through the hallway until we came to a dead end with a table that had glasses filled with water on it. Laying next to the glasses was sheet music. The key that must be played. Can you? It might take a while, but I should be able to play this tune. I have played the glass harp before, but I might be out of practice. I watched him measure out the water and test the sounds produced. It took a while, but soon a hidden door started to slide open a little more with each right note. The only problem was that each wrong note sent it crashing back down. 
After a while, Mr. Wolf turned to me, looking determined. I can open the door long enough for you to get through. Even playing the whole song won't leave it permanently open, though. I'm sorry. That's fine. It's already more than I could have done. I positioned myself in front of the door and he started playing again. The moment it was high enough, I darted under and entered the new room. This room actually had a door that wasn't hidden. Something that needs to be solved. I walked up to the door and the third clue became clear. There was a sliding puzzle on it. <laughs> Piece of cake. You know, from how intense Mr. Bandages seems, I was imagining these games to be a lot more... I don't know... challenging? But I guess this is pretty fun. Oh, it's Kippy! I love Kippy! And done! <laughs> that was easier than I thought. The moment the last piece slid into place, a different door swung open and a man walked in. Well done. Your team receives five points for this task. Your team awaits you. I followed him into a room where the three of them were sitting. I guess having you on the team isn't such a bad thing. She got us a five. If you ask me, that isn't bad at all. It's great. You did really well. Don't let it go to your head, though. This was just the first task. I took a seat and turned my attention to the big screen television. So, what are we watching? The other team's tasks. But those... Are different from what we did. Each team received a unique task. It's quite fun to watch. It's not fun, it's research. We might get some of these tasks later. Not to mention knowing how many people you need to watch out for in a competition isn't a bad thing. It can also be fun research. Wolf, I will slap you with my model hand. A couple of hours later, a now familiar tone sounded. Another announcement? All teams have now finished their task. One way or another, congratulations to those who were successful. And my condolences to those that weren't. Don't worry too much. Tomorrow is another day after all. As for today, normally I'd have everyone gather in the dining hall for dinner. But seeing as we're doing the whole team thing, we might as well stick to it. Dinner will be brought to each team's current team area. But be warned, your performance in the task determines the quality of food. Enjoy! Another tone signaled the end of the announcement. A waiter came in wheeling a cart filled with food covered with silver domes. Followed by another waiter with more food. And another, and another, and... Is this all for us? Don't sound so surprised. But it's so much. Eat what you like. The staff will take care of the rest. You act like this is a normal thing. Isn't it? Not to most people. Well, we're not most people. And Eric likes to splurge. <laughs> well, that explains the entire event. Too much money, not enough. I was distracted by the aromas wafting toward me as the food was uncovered. I immediately set about filling my plate. Someone's easily distracted. I think a healthy appetite is a good thing. A moment on the lips, a lifetime on the hips. You're the one that needs to worry about that, Mr. Skeleton. I'll have you know that this body is the result of a strict exercise regimen and nutrition plan. And mine's the result of enjoying myself. <laughs> I fail to see your point. How the hell are we like the same weight then? Wow, this food is great. Do you guys really eat like this all the time? Pretty much. Although I like to eat simpler stuff sometimes too. Man, you guys are lucky. Everyone at this event should be able to afford to eat like this, so I don't see what luck has to do with it. Well, my family always had to watch our budget growing up, so splurging just isn't something I feel right doing, even if it's on food. I really admire people like you, you know. Wait, me? Why? I I'm not anything special. You weren't born into this lifestyle. 
but you managed to work your way to it. All he did was sing. Even so, getting into the industry is something that doesn't happen for a lot of people, let alone becoming famous. I was just lucky my manager found me. I didn't really do anything. Your skill sheet says you can play instruments, dance, read music? I'm passionate about music. Don't people usually research and dabble in what they're passionate about? I didn't do anything unusual. Things just worked out in my favor, and now I'm doing what I love doing. Well, I, for one, am glad they did. Maybe when we win, you could sing us a victory song. He ducked his head shyly. Uh, thanks. I'll see what I can do. When we win, someone's cocky. Not cocky. Confident. Confidence is good. Very good. It's a bit early to be too confident. We don't even have a secure lead yet. But we will, if we all do our best. I play to win. You want my best, you've got it. I certainly don't mind doing my best in service of a beautiful lady. I'll do what I can, and try not to get in the way. Honestly, watching them at that moment, I couldn't help but feel that we could make a great team. When I woke up the next day, the first thing I did after getting ready for the day was check for a note under the door. I found no note, but the sound of a fire alarm stopped me from thinking too much about it. Instead, I pulled open the door and rushed out into the hall and made my way outside. From the looks of it, everyone else had had the same idea. Glancing around, I saw Mr. Bandages standing to the side, away from the pandemonium caused by the other guests rushing out onto the lawn. A few seconds later, I saw Mr. Wolf trying to get through the crowd, but failing. I kept looking around to try and locate the Count, but to no avail. I should go over to Mr. Bandages to escape the crowd. I'm gonna get trampled. I walked over to Mr. Bandages, who didn't even seem to notice my presence. So... <sighs> I guess he's gone back to ignoring me. A peculiar scent had me looking around for the source. It took me a moment to realize it was coming from Mr. Bandages. Or rather, the bandages covering his head. Why are you wet? The fire alarm may have sounded, but none of the sprinklers went off. Which, now that I think about it, is pretty odd. A little thing called a shower. He must have been washing his hair when the alarm went off. Wait, you took the time to put the bandages on after the fire alarm went off? I'm not giving Eric any reason to disqualify me. He wouldn't. This is Eric. He'd disqualify me for putting my identity at risk. If you took the time to... How did you even get out that fast? I'm a model. We do speed changes. Huh. I guess you do have one good point after all. Just one? So this is where the two of you have been hiding. I looked over to see the Count and Mr. Wolf walking toward us. <sighs> We're standing out in the open. Well, I would have been here sooner, but <laughs> someone had a bit of trouble with the crowd. Sorry. Eric's got us all out here. The least he can do is tell us why. You noticed it too, then. What are the two of you talking about? Isn't there a, a fire or something? If it was a real fire, the sprinkler system would have kicked in and the help would also be out here tending to the guests or trying to control the situation. Eric doesn't skimp on safety precautions. So, this was planned? Seems like it. Wasn't that a bit much? Couldn't he have just used the PA system to tell us to assemble on the lawn? You'll find that our host has a flair for the dramatic, even in the most inappropriate situations. <laughs> well, it does make life fun. <sighs> Is that Mr. Valdemar up there on the roof? We all looked to see someone in a phantom costume standing on the roof. There's that dramatic flair I was talking about. I thank you all for gathering out here this fine morning. 
I hope that you slept well. There's nothing quite like a fire scare to get the blood pumping. But rest assured, that there was no fire. Today's task will require every member of each team to work together. I hope you will enjoy it. He dropped something and disappeared in a cloud of smoke. He is not even going to tell us what the task is? Wait for it. Suddenly, a multitude of waiters pushing carts of food spewed out of the mansion. One of them made a beeline for us. Your clue, Miss Archer. He handed me an envelope before removing the covering on the food. And your breakfast. The Count, Mr. Wolf, and I dug in with gusto. Could you at least let me read the clue first? Food now. Clue later. <sighs> he let out a frustrated noise before joining us in devouring the delicacies provided. Once I was satisfied, I opened the envelope to read our clue. It's only half a clue. How can you tell? Uh, it says right here that we need to find the other half. Damn, Eric and his need for two clues. Is it really two clues, half? Yes. Are you going to read it out or are we just going to stand here all day? Keep your bandages on. Please. I was about to read it out. Find the troll of riddles. There you'll negotiate. Let's see if you can pass this very special gate. Troll of riddles, Eric. <laughs> I don't think that's the kind of troll it means. Gross bridge and treasure guarding troll then? Probably. It is a Halloween event after all. Pity. I was hoping to get a chance to yell at him. So, um, any idea where the troll would be? If Eric wants to be a drama queen, which he always does, it'd be at a bridge. There's a bridge in the South Gardens. South Gardens? Does he have North, East, and West Gardens, too? Then I guess that's her destination. <laughs> I'm surprised you didn't know that. The South Gardens are far too showy for my taste. Who needs a river, a hedge maze, a greenhouse, a gazebo, and a fountain in the same place? Eric, apparently. We followed the Count around the outside of the mansion until a bridge and a man in a troll costume came into view. If the fact we're the only guests here is any indication, we're the only ones with this clue. Is that a good or bad thing? It's an Eric thing. He likes to make things complicated. Halt, mortals! What business do you have here? So, this is your bridge? At least we know you're not compens- I will not deign to speak to a female! What the- Hey! Well, that's just rude! And sexist! Do any of you males have business with me? We were- Oh, no you don't! Team meeting, now! I grabbed him and pulled him out of earshot of the troll. Looking back, I was glad to see that the others had followed obediently. He won't speak to me, but we need to negotiate. That's what I was trying to... Uh, no, you were trying to usurp me. What, I can't do both? Uh, let me do it. I can charm the pants off of... Uh, wait, that probably isn't the best thing to say when we're discussing a troll. Uh, I could give it a shot, but... Or you could just let me do what I was about to. Do we even know what we're negotiating for? Passage in the second clue, I'd wager. I doubt that's all. Those are things we need. So negotiating just for them and failing seems so... harsh for one of Eric's games. True. Miss Archer, who would you rather have negotiate? What happened to voting? Why does she get to? She's the leader. This is a game decision. It's her choice. Besides, you wouldn't win a vote anyway. Hmm. I'm a merciful team leader. I think Mr. Bandages should negotiate. Redeem yourself in my eyes. Uh... What? No gloating? I'm in shock. Well, get over it. Unless you want to spend all day. I'm over it. 
good. Are you sure this is wise? He has no... <clears throat> people skills. Then he and the troll have something to bond over. That does make sense. I'm still here, you know. Shouldn't you get to it, hmm? Don't stop. Mr. Bandages went to talk to the troll and returned a few moments later looking smug. I'm almost afraid to ask what you managed to get. He led you and I through and give us the clue. Just passage in the clue then. Those were the most important things. If you say so. I do. Good luck. I don't need luck to complete this task. Right, because you have all the necessary skills for the next part of the task. How hard can it be? Says the man that has never won one of Eric's games. <laughs> I should probably stop this before it escalates. Come on, Mr. Bandages. We have a task to complete. You're right. That's more important. This time when we tried to cross the bridge, we were met with no resistance. Really? This isn't the place for a romantic scroll! That's your opinion. Um, what did you tell him? Take this and have those other spat elsewhere! He shoved the second clue into my hand and walked off. Rude! I actually think he's not that bad. Well, you would. Now let's see what this clue says so we can get this over with. Get up high and see below. Where you stop, you should know. This clue is shorter than the others. It's not the length of the clue that matters, it's the meaning. So we need to get up high. Any ideas? Actually, I don't think we need to. The point of that would be to see the path we should take, and I'm certain I already know where the clue wants us to go. You're afraid of heights, aren't you? That's besides the point. There's a hedge maze right here, and that tree directly looks over it. It's only logical that we're supposed to go through the hedge maze. Do you know the way through? No, but my superior navigational skills will lead us. Uh, let's just go to the entrance. The sooner we finish this, the better. Fine. I mean, mazes aren't so complicated, just don't make too many turns and eventually you'll find the right path. I mean, this is just a garden hedge maze. It can't be that big, right, Mr. Bandage? He's not behind me. Well, so much for superior navigational skills. Wait, wasn't I already here before? Oh, God. Am I going in circles? Oh, no. When I reached the goal point, there was a man waiting for me. You have successfully completed this task. Your team receives five points for this task. I'll lead you out. I followed him back to the bridge where Mr. Wolf, Mr. Bandages, and the Count were waiting. You did it! Not bad. What do you mean, not bad? You didn't even make it through! Your navigational skills are superb. Thanks. Please follow me to your team room. We arrived at our team room just in time for an announcement. Due to a multitude of <clears throat> comments, dinner will no longer be based on score. That is all. Enjoy the rest of the day. The tone signaling the end of the message sounded. That's a pity. I really like the idea. I wonder who complained. Hey, don't look at me. I actually thought it was a good idea. It was useful for encouraging competition. Only in those that would rather not have the lower quality food. Which was apparently a multitude. <laughs>